What's up, YouTube? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I love every single one of you who watches my channel. So in return, I'm on a mission to find the hidden gems that can actually provide value to your business and just your day-to-day -day life. So in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing a pretty secret gem that I've recently found called Browse.ai. And it allows you to scrape and monitor data from any website at scale. So if you have a list of business directories, whether it's Realtor.com, whether it's Yellow Pages, whether it's Yelp, wherever your niche spend the most time it is going to be able to scrape that fully automated for free and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video and the reason I like this tool over other ones that I found is because it allows you to create an actual robot meaning if you have a you know a page like this which is clinics in Los Angeles for example and you want to message them and you want to reach out but you, you don't want to have to scrape all of this information to put it into Google Sheets what we can do is essentially run this robot to extract all of this information and put it into a Google Sheets or download it as a CSV without us doing anything so back in the day we had tools like Bardeen to do this or even Phantom Buster but this is just the easiest one that I found and it actually links into make.com so keep watching because this is a very valuable tool that you kind of need to know and use so let's talk about how to actually use this. So what you're going to do is you're going to get started for free and I'm not affiliated with this tool. I just think it's pretty awesome and wanted to share it with you guys today. So once you download it, you will be able to log in like this and you'll see these different tabs where you can see we have a tab for robots, workflows, API, billing and workspace. So obviously we'll get into the API part and linking it to make.com in you know a very short amount of time in the, in the next few minutes but let me just show you how to build a new robot so what you can do is just click on extract structured data so this works for anything if you go onto google maps and just get like you know all the google maps results in your local area for local businesses this will work and it is crazy how easy it is to build this so yeah once you um have just clicked on that just put in a url of your choice so in this case let's just say we want to scrape clinics in la and you can see that we have quite a few right here we, you can just copy this url go into here paste it in and yeah you can just click start training the robot and obviously yeah you can use the robot studio so just click on it and this is just scratching the surface you're going to be really impressed with this tool um so yeah keep watching but it's going to take maybe 10 seconds to just connect to the server it's going to load the page and what we're doing is we're creating a, a playbook in, in a sense where we can essentially get it to understand what we want to extract from this you know directory so when we go onto the second page the third page the fourth page it knows exactly where to scrape on the actual url and on the page if that makes sense hopefully it does and i'm not confusing you but let's just give it a second to load So as you can see, it is loading the information on the URL that we gave it. And the reason I actually like this tool quite a lot over other ones like Phantom Buster, Bardeen, or even Instant Data Scraper is because it actually has, um, if you aren't aware, a lot of business directories and these types of um, pages, um, they actually have like anti-scraping detectors, but this tool can bypass that. And it actually did that um, right now, which is like super, super sick. And all you need to do from this point on is just click capture text. And once you click capture text, you can basically just select what you want it to scrape. So in this case, you can see down here that we have all of this information. We just wanna select all of it. So if we just click on that, you can see that everything in this purple box, it is going to scrape and give us the information back into a CSV or whatever format we want it to do. And obviously when we go onto the second page, it knows exactly what to scrape and so forth. You can see how this is starting to work. But once you click confirm, it is pretty much good to go. You can obviously, yeah, change it and select the part that you want. So you could actually make this if you want to scrape individually each part, like the name, the phone number. You know, let's just say we want to scrape all of this. Um, you can then just click enter. So yeah, you're pretty much good to go. So um, you just want to name it. So let's call this just info. Click OK. And yeah, just click save captured text. And we're going to click finish. And once you click finish, it is going to allow the robot to save the information that it scrapes. And now you have like a playbook and you can obviously use this as a Chrome extension. So whenever you're on a tab and you just wanna scrape all the information, it's gonna be able to do it. So you can see that we could call this just like lead details, click save, and you'll see that we actually have all the results right here. So if we click download, download as a CSV, you can see that if we click on this, it is going to give us all of the information back 
that was on that page. But why this is so great is because, as I said, you can have this as a Chrome extension. So whenever you go onto a page like this or Yelp or Yellow Pages or, you know, um, Google Maps, whatever it may be, wherever you are trying to find leads and want to get better at data extraction, you can just like click on the Chrome extension and then it's going to know exactly where to scrape on the page. Um, you can build as many robots as you want and it's free, which is great. So yeah, once you have played around with that and you've got familiar with how to create an actual robot, you can then open up make.com and you can actually just create a new scenario and go from there because you can integrate this without having to load it up. So let's say you want to scrape, I don't know, roofers from Yellow Pages or another niche from Yellow Pages without having to go into Yellow Pages and then click on the robot to scrape it, you can essentially use a tool like make.com to automate that process. And this is even more valuable if you are looking to develop this and actually maybe sell it as a SaaS um, because there's a lot of great you know opportunities right now and it's just endless the potential that you have and these softwares have. So you may as well, yeah, learn it and have some fun with it. Um, but you can see here that if we click on um, browse AI, you can see that there's gonna be an option to run an actual execution or run a task so run a task it's going to be able to select the robot so obviously you need to create a connection it's really easy because it's just going to ask you to log in it does this with like google drive and everything in terms of the sign in option it's way easier than adding an api key but you can also add it through an api key um, you can see that just like that it has connected browse into make.com so this is something that you can experiment with in your own time um, if you click off map you'll get to select your one so lead details this is the one that we just created you can see it's called lead details and you can obviously put in the URL you want it to scrape and it's going to be able to scrape it um, without you going into browse or without you doing anything besides loading up make.com. And now you can actually get way crazier results with this. And the reason I'm saying that is because let's say you don't even want to go into make.com. What you could do is develop this by actually just typing a message on Slack being like, I want to scrape, I don't know, let's say hairdressers in i don't know wherever it would be able to do that through make.com which is why i've not only shown you the tool locally inside browse and maybe as a chrome extension but also the possibilities of developing this into a SaaS or a micro SaaS through make.com or just saving yourself time once you actually set it up you can even develop this into a SaaS. so if you were to use a tool like lovable or bolt.new which i've got plenty of tutorials on on my channel you can then link it so you can have a SaaS that runs server side, meaning the user of your SaaS using this doesn't actually have to do browse or make because it's going to be running on your server. So um, yeah, it, it's really sick what's going to happen in 2025 and 2026. I'm really excited for it and just for me to share all of this like new source with you guys. So hopefully you found this quick video valuable. Um, it was just a quick one, but I didn't want to overwhelm you with too much information. You can play around with this in your own time, but definitely like, subscribe. And if you are serious about using AI and automation, I do have a community where I give you free girl high level software, as well as my personal lead scraper, which isn't out of um, beta yet. So it's not out in the public yet, meaning it's exclusive inside the community. So very few people have access to it, but I think it is going to be live soon. Um, but yeah, the community is awesome if you are looking to get started and actually make money and just be around some great individuals. But yeah, take it easy. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next video.